Do you struggle hitting the fairway? Have you not found the sweet spot in months? Well, here at Golf Magic, myself and Johnny Percival, I think we found the answer. Is that enough? Right, guys and girls, welcome back to the Golf Magic YouTube channel. Today we are at the wonderful La Hacienda on the fifth hole at the Lynx course, and we are showcasing the best irons for mid to high handicappers. Johnny, how is your golf game going? I think it's fair to say I'm struggling to find greens and regulation. Are you? Well, I think I've got them covered, because first up, we're going to talk about some irons with tons of forgiveness. The tailor-made QI irons. That's right, Johnny. These irons are Golf Magic's most forgiving. I will say as a caveat here, we wanted to balance out forgiveness and also looks as well. You could have technically the most forgiving iron in the world be something like the Wilson launch pad, which is ginormous, yeah. but they are not generational. You could use these for a little bit and then after about a year or two, they wouldn't be good enough for players who then get better into that mid handicap yeah, yeah. range. Agree more. What we felt with these, if I'm correct in saying, is yep. that these provide looks so that, would you say you could use them? I could use them, yeah. yeah. Definitely, I mean, if we're talking about kind of potentially blending a set, I would yeah. be more than happy to put maybe a four or five iron of those yeah. in my bag, absolutely. Yeah, and this is the thing with the QI irons, even though they are not the biggest in the world, yes, of course, looking down at them, there is a large top line yeah. compared to other game improvement irons in 2024, but there are some that are larger, so they are still very good looking, but with the technology that's packed into these, such as the Flighted CG, and I believe it's a 14% larger sweet spot going into 2024, these are, these are all really positive things. So for someone like yourself who is struggling to find the greens, What's going to happen is, yes, you will likely have a bigger sweet spot, so you'll hit it straighter. Yep. And also with that, they say that it's slightly less right bias. Okay. Meaning that for the players, a lot of amateur golfers like myself, yeah, yeah. like you maybe, we struggle, uh, we struggle, or you hit it left, don't you? Left is tends okay. to be my bad shot. So maybe these aren't for you. Maybe there'll be some other irons. But these are a little bit more neutral bias, less right bias in those longer irons. So you will likely see, I'm not saying they're draw bias, I'm saying they're straight bias. So Ooh, yeah, so rather that. than it going over there, over to Gibraltar, you'll perhaps go straight to this pin, which is what I want to see from you right now. Thank you, thank you. Well, actually, you know what? I will say this pin here on yeah. the Hacienda <laughs> on the fifth hole is perhaps the worst pin I've seen in, in the world. There is, it lo looks like it's off the green in the sea, doesn't it? Well, you've got about what looks like three yards yeah. of space <laughs> left in the pin. So play a sensible shot to the green, and yep. then we're going to wrap it up and go to Custom Golf Works, and I'll show you why I think these irons are actually really special and very forgiving. Didn't hear very well. A little thin? Yeah, it wasn't my best strike. Managed to hold its line remarkably well, and I would say. And that's the thing, right? Like, you could perhaps say with another iron, that could go right, that could go yeah. left, but that's very, very straight overall. That felt like it came off the toe. Did it? Yeah. And, and usually off the toe uh, via physics and whatnot, that would go left. Yeah. But that was actually a remarkably straight shot. It so was. I'm going to back that up now with the data at Custom Golf Works before we get into the next special category of this video. Right, here we are at Custom Golf Works with the TaylorMade QI irons, and we've managed to capture some really good data, especially Big Jozzo over here, because being 30 in hand, Cap, I think they're a little bit more applicable towards you, right? Yeah, 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 I think that's probably fair to say. When I hit them, I notice slightly lower spin, but still, to get a very forgiving club, that is a pretty nice feel as well. I don't think you yeah. get that that much with game improvement irons. What do you think? No, I think these are probably uh, some, well, definitely one of the most impressive models of the year. Yep. Um, improved aesthetics, performance was good, distance good. I mean, they, similarly to one of the other models we'll come on to later, yep. um, I found that they were slightly too kind of low spinning in the lower irons, yep. so I was getting a bit too much roll out. Um, but at the top end of the set, four, five, six, um, these things are, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, very, very forgiving. Something that we could definitely put in play with the correct fitting, which is why I urge you guys to do. Our wonderful high handicap golfer behind the camera, Willie Woods, he loves these irons. And I do think for forgiveness, maybe not distance, but forgiveness and feel, there is not a lot of irons that beat it. And looks, and I mean, look, distance, they're still very, very good. They're yep. still potent. There is just one in particular model that was a touch hotter. Hot they are. Let's find out. With regard to forgiveness, the TaylorMade QI irons are certainly at the top of our list for that category. But when it comes to distance, well, the Cobra Dark Speed certainly packs a punch. Interesting. Right, let's see how it gets on. Yeah, it's a weird looking iron, isn't it? In a good and a bad way. So when I was talking to Cobra about Cobra Dark Speed, it's about like Batman, things like that, you know, yeah, yeah. really going into like aerodynamics and whatnot. And they're trying to keep it like sleek, modern, cool. What do you think? Do you think they've done that? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely, uh, they've definitely achieved the Batman look. I'll and say for that for sure, sure, right? For um, sure potentially a bit of an acquired taste. Yeah. But uh, but what really matters in this category is performance. Absolutely, and this, this is a weird iron uh, in many ways. Like, 
down at a dress, I think it's a bit, it's large. Uh, it is large, yeah. What this thing is with the iron, it's a super hollow body iron. So you can really feel it, its explosiveness yeah. off the tee, off the fairway. And that isn't just the feel, that is the results as well. These are very strong lofts, but it being hollow body, it goes bloody miles. A six iron with a strong loft for me, well, we'll find out at Custom Golf Works. It's not a club for me. It's for perhaps for people who don't swing it as fast, who yep. want to have a little bit of extra distance, a little bit more forgiveness, and also have some feedback. Because despite it being a club that is a game improvement iron, what I felt that when I'm hitting it, well, completely out of the toe and out of the heel, I do know when that happens. It yeah, does yeah. not feel nice at all. Sure. Compared to the TaylorMade with the forgiveness, feels a little bit nicer. So this one is more for the players who want to go everywhere. Send it into orbit. Exactly. All Send right. it into orbit for me, Johnny. All righty. Oh, that's a little stinger right there. Go. That's terrible. Terrible, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but, but imagine how much worse that would be if you were using a blade. All right, let me, come on, I need to hit a good one. <laughs> that's better. Is that going to carry? Yeah. Yeah, nice shot. I can't see where it finished. No. I mean, it was like peeling into the pin. Yeah, it looked really nice. Yeah. I mean, the interesting thing you can see with these ones is it looks like they're quite low launch and quite low spinning, which yeah. we're going to get onto now at Custom Golf Works before deciding the best game improvement iron for 2024. Cobra Dark Speed, distance, power. These things are an absolute beast. Now, we've talked about the looks. Uh, one of the best looking game improvement irons of some time. A big improvement from Aerojet, which is a little bit stinky. Now, going on to these, these are so explosive and you can see it in the data here from myself and Johnny. Don't think they're particularly targeted at us, are they? No, I, I personally, I wouldn't game these, no, but they're not fitted for me. Exactly. And when we're talking about the longest irons of 2024, distance, these go absolutely miles. Now, this is because of strong lofts, hollow body construction and a ginormous club head. But a six iron for me, that was at points going 250 yards. I mean, that's not a good thing, is it? But it's a fun thing. It's a fun thing. It's just gonna lead to some issues with your gaffing. Oh, I've got many issues in my life. I don't need one more. So Johnny got some better numbers. And in fact, you were puring them, weren't you? I have to say, yeah, in terms of uh, offline dispersion, distance, they were pretty optimal. We used a six iron. I was probably getting it out there around 200 yards. Yeah. Really um, which was fantastic. And like, as we've said with kind of previous game improvement sets, I would quite comfortably put these in the bag at the top end, four, yep. five, six iron, yep. happy days. Absolutely. So we're talking about distance here, but of course there are some other assets available such as forgiveness and feel. But distance isn't everything with game improvement. You need things such as forgiveness, looks and feel. Absolutely. And there is absolutely one iron that me and Johnny have not been able to take our eyes off. I haven't stopped thinking about it. Let's find out. So, before we get into the video, if you want to find out what the best irons are for you and you want to play better golf, smash the subscribe button and... What? So, if you want more content like that, smash the subscribe button and give us a like. So, at Custom Golf Works and also at La Hacienda, we've shown you irons that have forgiveness and also distance. Alex, uh, I think it's time you show them the iron. I think it's time. So, how about we blend distance and forgiveness into one superior iron? That is, the Strixon ZX4. So, Alex, what makes this the best iron for mid to high handicappers in 2024? Well, Percy, I will tell you. So, Strixon, I think, is a little bit underrated, okay, especially yeah. with the ZX range, the Mach 2s. And ZX4 itself is a game improvement iron, but mm -hmm. because it is a face forged club, so forged compared to other things such as Cobra, such as TaylorMade, it's going to feel exceptional. And it still provides a lot of feedback, but it's very explosive off the face. So, when we're talking about things such as forgiveness, distance, this is at the top of that list mixed together. The Titleist T350, now that was just behind this overall. And you can kind of see what I'm leading towards here is forged. You know the two irons that we've showcased so yeah, far? Yeah, yeah. They're not forged, so. I'd also add aesthetically, they are probably the two best looking. Absolutely, I mean, this is one big thing, isn't it, with game improvement irons, they don't, they look kind of ugly for the most part, right? Yeah. I will happily say Cobra isn't the best looking iron. Tenement is okay. When you get into the forge category, as you said, this LX4, I would game this, would you? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And with the cool thing with this, we've mentioned it with uh, the Tenement QI, you could potentially combo them. Yeah. This is a piece of cake to combo, it goes straight into the LX5, ZX7. I, if I were to get a Strixon set, I would get a ZX4, 5 and 7 with all of them, because then with the longer irons, you get something that's more explosive, yeah. that is more 
towards a high handicapper, for instance. Yeah. And then even if when you get down to 15, even if, even into the 10s, 9s, so you could still use this as a full set, uh, couldn't absolutely. you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Cool, well, let's put it to the test. I'll hit some shots, then I'll give you the solution to your woes. ZX4, and then we'll finish it off at Custom Golf Works to talk about why this iron is so special. Beautiful. The best thing about this, even though there is some data to talk about, it just feels exceptional for a game improvement iron. Almost yeah. so much so that you're like, it can't be true, right? Yeah. I'd argue, looking down at a dress even now, I wouldn't, know, I wouldn't guess that that was a game improvement iron. Absolutely. Either. Well, well done, Strixon. Oh, it's right at it. Is that left? I think it's just, yeah. Oh. Missing left, unfortunately. So close. All right, I'll hit one more. It, fe it feels like... It sounded fantastic as it, well. It, mate, it felt fantastic. It really did. It feels like I'm not hitting a game improvement club. And it's so, it's so weird to say. Because looking down at it, yes, it's game improvement. It actually looks quite a lot like the QI. Yeah. But um, just because of that forge, uh, even if you're hitting it at the tail of the heel, it still feels lovely. That oh my God. Peach. I actually might gain these. Yeah, that's went, absolutely spot on. Went so far as well. And that is just turning back towards the hole. Fantastic. Thank you, mate. Well, hopefully it can answer your woes as well. Let's find go. out. Let's see. I oh, actually, this is one of the things with Strix and I never want to stop hitting the irons. It's really, it's really weird. It's similar to Titleist in a way. They just have this own separate category. Titleist, Strix and Mizuno as yeah. well. It's just, I, I, I kind of want to take that off Johnny now and be like, stop it. It's mine. I'd actually so, argue looking down at these, I currently use the TaylorMade P790s. Yeah. These look quite a, a lot like that. Yeah, a little, a little bit bigger, which is why we've put in the ZX5s, I would say, and more to the P790s. So they yeah. probably exact match up to it. These are slightly more game improvement. You could, I should say, there are irons that are a lot bigger. Um, so I'm sure there might be some people in the comments saying, nah, no, these aren't for people off 28 or so. I really do think they are. They okay. are a really good introduction to the game. You can get massive things such as Stealth HD and whatnot. But the positives that you'll get out of those compared to any other irons yeah. for game improvement irons, I think are the superseding anything else. Yeah. Like you, and, you, and you'd grow into these as well. Exactly. If you were a 28 exactly. Yeah. You, you, want, these for a lot you don't want to buy a set of irons and then after a year you're like, oh, hang on, I need another set. Those yeah. will help you out for forgiveness. Then once you're off 2018, they'll help you out for performance as well. Cool. All right. Let's give them a hit. Oh, mate. That is... That's so nice. I can't see if that was good or not. I think if it's got the legs, yeah. that could be really I've just realised, I do apologise, you're hitting from similar to, toward, towards me here, but I think mine will probably be a bit deep and you'll run up. This is about 200 yards for a 7-iron, they go very far, but that was lovely. 6-iron? Oh, seven, we have 7-iron, seven, seven. yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is a 7-iron, the 6-irons are the other ones. Right, yeah. Okay. What, hit, what, hit one or two more for me. Okay, I'm going to... The sound right. is I'm just I'm going to take so a slightly different. less aggressive line in that case. Good plan. Much less aggressive. Much less but aggressive. Just, Didn't just, quite catch that. I could, I, I, I happily say I couldn't tell by the sound of it. Yeah, it's come up a bit short. Has it? But yeah, it still, it still felt good. So I say feedback wise, you, you could you tell it was out of the toe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I, well, knew, I, yeah, I knew as soon as I hit that, that it wasn't coming out of the see. middle. Interesting. We'll hit one more for me and then we'll go over to Custom Golf Works and I'll show you why this iron is special. More special than the rest. Oh, I've fallen off that. I mean, it felt good, but that's just I think that's just got caught in the wind, well. yeah. You're being very safe, and it's actually quite consistent with the other ones, which is yeah. good to see that you're getting consistency, you're getting forgiveness, and also with a really nice looking iron. So, over to Custom Golf Works now to show you the data behind the best iron for mid to high handicappers of 2024. Right, here we are for the final time at Custom Golf Works to talk about the best game improvement iron of 2024. ZX4 by Strixons. I think a bit of a surprise, right? It is a surprise. It's a surprise, I feel like, for people who maybe don't know a huge amount about a lot of golf brands. Yeah. Because it it maybe isn't as big a name as Callaway, TaylorMade, Titleist. But having said that, I think Strixon actually makes some of the oh, best irons out there by a country by a mile. Definite dark horse. Now, I do think there is bang for your buck. Because, I mean, look, you could have a you have Woody Woods behind the camera using this, and you could have possibly us if you do get a correct fitting and also combo them with the wonderful ZX5 and 7, which are sat just behind me here. So with game improvement irons like the Dark Speed, maybe like the QI, you could have them for a while, but your aim is almost to get rid of them. I think with the ZX4, you could have them for a long time. And if we look at the data here, there are obviously some, I'd say some problems maybe. Johnny's spin is quite low at 3600, which means maybe you just have the long irons, which you've said in some previous videos. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what was interesting about this is my spin was low, but my launch was actually still pretty good. And the stopping power, from 191 to 203 is actually pretty good compared to some other rounds we tested yep. this year. Yep. 
100%. So the descent angle is really important. That everyone always looks at spin, but descent angle, if it's about 46 to 50 degrees in a seven iron, you will be okay. Yeah. I was fit for PXGs a while back, which were 30 degrees, I believe, for a seven iron. Now, I hit it the ball very far, but the descent angle is 50 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> You do hit it far. I, I hit it very hit far, it yeah, far. if you guys don't know. Make sure you like and subscribe for more bombs from myself and Johnny. <laughs> yeah, but I'm hitting it far now. <laughs> absolutely, we are absolute beasts on the YouTube scene. Carl Berkshire, come at us. But the ZX4s being forged as well, obviously with yeah. that increased price point, they feel incredible. Very different to Cobra Tops. I would speed, say, right? yeah, these, these are, I say, comfortably the nicest feeling irons. Yep in the category, yeah, yeah by some way. You could almost have with the ZX4s, and I mean, for a beginner, yes, you could have these, all of them, but as I said, the combo sets are endless. You could argue you could have that with the QI, but I probably would go against that. Uh, in terms of aesthetics as well, these blend best with yeah. the rest of the Strix and range. Um, it's very, very seamless. They all kind of look, They all, I mean, they all look relatively similar, I would say. 100%, yeah. Now, for a game improvement iron, I don't think you're gonna get better looks than that. To summarise the best game improvement irons of 2024, let's hop on a plane and go back to La Hacienda and talk about it. You got your passport? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no lost balls, good vibes. That always is the case, isn't it, with, uh, with game improvement clubs. What do you recommend to someone who is maybe a beginner, high handicapper, mid handicapper, looking to get a new set of irons in 2024, Johnny? Well, the first thing I would suggest is getting properly fit. 100%. Um, but, if you do go, definitely try out the Strixon ZX4 Mark II. I mean, we've discussed the pros that they offer, but it is a really, really fantastic club that I think could benefit a really wide, broad range of players. 100%, couldn't agree more. I think they're a little bit underrated because maybe fitters wouldn't direct people to them, but trust me, I think they'd help you guys a lot. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are to the Strixon ZX4 irons, and if we're missing any irons, let me know as well. If you like these kind of videos, I want to see some more for best hybrids, best fairy woods, Smash that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our videos to make sure you guys get better at golf into 2024. Myself and Johnny will catch you guys at the next video.